Hello again, privacy fans. Are you tired of initializing your node manually every time you start your computer? Do you wish there was a hands-off, easy solution for restarting when it fails? Well, we've got good news for you. There is. And in this short video, we'll be explaining how. So without any further ado, let's get into it. A service is a common way to describe a program that runs in the background of any operating system. Many programs run as services to make your computer use simple and stress-free, probably without you even noticing. Typically, you'll have something called a service manager which takes charge and deals with these programs for you. Today we'll be defining some rules which will configure our service managers to both run our Monero nodes in the background every time our PC starts and restart them when they fail. As usual, we'll be covering Linux and Windows separately, so please use the timestamps in the description to get where you want to be. As Linux users, we often find that things are slightly more complex and time-consuming to get set up. But as always, there are advantages. We'll continue by assuming you followed our video to set up your node. If you have your own node set up via other means, please check out our video anyway to understand how we approach things. The first thing we're going to do is change the directory in which our Monero D folder is located. At the moment, it's located in the home directory and we want it to be in the opt directory. Opt, aka option or optional, is traditionally used to hold software and programs which are run as an addition and independently of anything else. An advantage to using this directory is that changes require elevated privileges and therefore cannot be altered easily. To do this, we're going to use the mv command, followed by the current directory and then opt. Now that that's done, we're going to create a new user for our system called Monero D. Doing this means we can isolate the privileges of the service to the working folder, which is great for security amongst other things. This next command will add the new user, create a new user group under the same name, and then set the home directory to that which we just created. Next, we'll change the owner of the Monero D directory to match the username. This will give the Monero D user the correct privileges to alter the files inside. The command we'll be using to do this is chown, aka change ownership, along with the R flag so that it does this recursively for all the subfolders. The final command should look something like this. Finally, we need to get on and specify the service we'll be creating. Systemd is the name of the service manager typically found in Linux distributions, and it's within the library directory which we'll need to place our config. With our favorite text editor, we'll need to create a new file. We'll be using vim and the following command. We've already put together a template for you to use which can be found on our GitHub page. Simply copy and paste it into the terminal and you're done. As always, double check to make sure nothing has been altered. All that's left to do is reload systemd, enable our new service and then start it. We can do that with the next three commands. To check that everything's running smoothly, we can use the command systemctl status monero d. If all is well, you should see that it is active and running. Now every time you start your PC, your node will also be up and running, and if it ever fails, systemd will be there to restart it. Remember, you can always check the logs in the data directory for more detailed information. Setting up your Windows service is quite simple as its execution has been built into the daemon. To install the daemon as a service, first run PowerShell as administrator. If you already have a node and use the default directory, then you only need to add the install service flag. If you followed our guide or set your data directory manually, you should also include the data dir flag, followed by the correct location. Our command will look like this. After pressing enter, we can head to the services application in Windows where we'll now find one called Monero Daemon. 
So that this service runs and restarts automatically, we'll need to edit the configuration slightly. Right click on the service and select Properties. First, we want to change the startup type. I'm going to select Automatic with a delayed start. This way I know that essential services like networking start ahead of it. The next thing we want to turn our attention to is the Recovery tab. Here we can tell Windows what to do if the node fails for any reason. For each failure, I want Windows to restart the Monero daemon so that it's up and running as much as possible. After making those changes, we can start the process. If you're already running the daemon, you should stop it first. Success! Your node should now be running as a Windows service. If you're interested to know the status of your node, you can also check the logs. Our logs are located in the data directory. If for whatever reason you're unable to access your node, you should start with these. Well, there you have it. Your node is now an integrated part of your computing experience. If you have any questions, please let us know either in the comments or through one of our contact options on the About section of our website. If you found this useful and want to send us a tip, our address can be found on screen now. Well, that's it from us. See you in the next one.